In this A-level IB chemistry video, we're going to be looking at all things relating to metals. That includes looking at metallic bonding and what the terms malleable and ductile mean. So starting with the structure of metals. So here I've drawn a pretty basic structure of a metal. The things you really need to notice is that you have a regular arrangement of positive metal ions. And these little E minuses, well, they are a sea of delocalized electrons. Now, the reason we have a sea of delocalized electrons is because the valence or outer shell electrons in the metals become detached from the individual atoms. So what is the definition of a metallic bond? Well, it's the attraction that two neighbouring positive ions have for the delocalised electrons found between them. Now, the strength of the metallic bond depends on two things. Firstly, the charge of the ion, and secondly, the radius of the metal ion. So obviously, the smaller the ion, the higher its charge, the stronger the metallic bond will be. So let's have a look at the summary. So the strength of the metallic bond depends on both the charge of the ion and the radius of it. So smaller highly charged ions will have strongest metallic bonding, which helps to explain why aluminium, Al3+, has pretty strong metallic bonding. Next up, the terms ductile and malleable. Ductile means that a substance can be drawn into a wire. Whereas malleable means that the substance can be bent and reshaped under pressure. We can write the same explanation for both of these properties and that's because the layers of ions can slide over each other without breaking more bonds than are made.